The world is becoming a scary place. War, hunger, and this year's freshman class? Celebration in East Lansing quickly got out of hand. The destruction included couches burned and a car flipped over. Everyone just loves to burn couches. And you know, this has been an ongoing issue for decades. The difference is now we have these stealing and destroying property at their schools. Devious licks and students have been recording themselves vandalizing and stealing school property. It's called the Devious Lick Challenge. Damage to other school property. It's the latest viral TikTok trend that has students destroying and stealing school property with the caption Devious Lick. And since things seem to only be getting worse, we need a deterrent, something for these immature kids, something to get them out of here, something like this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an introduction right there. Woo! Heads up, this video is going to be a bit different, maybe a little more casual since I'm working on a different video that hopefully finishes pretty soon. The point, though, is that these freshmen are terrible people, which is why I'm going to be acting like a child to terrorize these freshmen who are acting like such children. And what do children like? Legos. So, let's get some. Now, my first idea was to build a mortar that would shoot the grenades you saw to the intro of this video, which would be perfect for sending a clear message to these new freshmen. Now, a mortar is actually pretty easy to make. I'll spare you the details of how I built it, but for mine, essentially all you need is a metal pipe that has an end sealed off with a chamber somewhere in between that can hold a flammable gas that'll launch the projectile when it's ignited. Basically, when I load the mortar with the water bottle you saw earlier, it'll launch out and explode. Simple as that. The only problem is... It doesn't work! I don't know why, and I don't feel like we're building it again, so to the dumpster it goes. Okay, maybe jumping to the mortar was a bad move, but hey, what else was I supposed to do? I, I guess I could try just talking to them, trying to figure things out like adults, you know, diplomacy? Maybe going and talking to these people would solve the problem. Maybe I just need to ask the tough questions. What class are you in? Oh, I'm freshman. <laughs> freshman too. Oh, I'm a freshman. Freshman? What would it take for you to drop out of college? I wouldn't take a dollar amount for it. Well, I wouldn't drop out of college entirely. Mm. I'd be financially stable at like 10 million. 10 million? Alright. No, no, like 10, 2 million. Two, two, okay, <laughs> okay. One really unrelated question. Let's just kind of answer it, I feel, okay? Okay. Uh, are you afraid of hand grenades? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're good. And since I don't have 10 million dollars, that's all we needed. You know, there's nothing quite like a box of chemicals to just scare people away. Um, oh, and, and Legos, because this video is not to be taken seriously. I'm looking at you, FBI. While all these chemicals and solutions on this table might seem a bit scary, other than this fighting robot, the chemistry behind what you saw earlier in this video is actually pretty easy. And surprisingly, it probably uses chemicals you just have lying around your house anyway. So we'll start by mixing. but I can show you how to mix the final two solutions that end up creating that explosion you've seen. Now to do this, I could have done something super complex where I have a mechanism that releases one chemical into another using 3D printed materials or even software using an Arduino, but that's all too complicated. So instead, we're gonna do things the smallest brain way possible. And that's because we here at Smith Labs have the very best scientists. Y yeah, you. And we always get the job done. From our intricate knowledge on all things science and technology, to our absolute love of the scientific method with complete and utter thoroughness in our research, and as always, our willingness to go above and beyond for our client no matter what it takes. In the end, we always find the right solution, even if it takes us a while. Smith Labs, where sometimes something gets done. In reality, just fill the bottle with one solution and then put the second solution in a pocket of saran wrap and set it inside the bottle before just trimming the outside of all that unused plastic. Shake it and it'll go boom. It's really not that hard. Now for your safety, it's imperative that if you figure out how to do this, you need to...
All right, enough stalling. Let's go test this out. Carlos, <laughs> what are you doing? Well, you know how it goes. <laughs> you just, you just sit at home, you're bored. You bring out the chemical weapons. I, what is that? Ah, full <laughs> science, you know how it is. So this is the part where you really, really need to have goggles. Wait, wait, do you have goggles for me? No, you're, you're far enough. You're, what? You're, I, I, you're, you're, you're I need goggles. Hey, man, don't worry about it. You're good. It's Lego time, though. Like that. That looks about right, doesn't it? You can tell it looks right because it just does, you know? Yeah, so with the Legos inside now, it's finally ready. Um, and what we're holding is actually dangerous because when it blows up, uh, the Legos are gonna disperse and it's like an actual like frag grenade. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, to test this out, to see how well they like blow up, I also made these uh, things. So tissue paper. So I'm gonna set the thing inside and when it goes up, um, we'll see the damage it causes. This one's just regular paper and then finally just a normal, just a normal box. So let's see how it goes. I think we're ready to go. All right, three, two, one. Yep, that's doing something. Hey, yo! As you can see, um, the uh, the tissue paper stopped almost nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah, this this stopped actually nothing. That was terrifying. Cause did you hear the metal clang when like various stuff smacked against? Did you hear the clang? Yes. All right, nice. All right, next. Now we can go straight to just, just cardboard. Let's see how that one works. All right, testing is just plain cardboard. No paper, just, just plain cardboard all around. In three, two, one. Did that get that? <laughs> yeah, bro, then look, the, look, at, look at the aftermath. Bro. I'd say that was a success. Yeah, the cardboard <laughs> decimated. So, I'll ask this quick, cameraman. Would you be scared if you had this appear next to you while you're on campus? Yes. Then I say that's more than a success. All right, we're done here. <laughs> you know, maybe this project should stay away from schools. I think they got enough on their plate with like, I did a thing putting robot dogs with machine turrets on them in there. So, uh, maybe we should let this go for now. I'll probably just try to stay out of the crossfire. So in the meantime, like and subscribe. And see you next time. Ah! <laughs> yep, that's an introduction right there. Woo! Oh man, I should have worn shorts. <laughs> Alright, well you got that, so we're good. <laughs>